Well, listen, I know we're going to have our coffee break soon. I see you're drinking a little coffee now. But one thing I wanted to ask you about before we got to it, you said something about your hands hurt the other day. I can, you, oh. can you elaborate on this? Yeah, I felt so. I, I was so confused. I woke up one day and I don't know what I was doing, but every time I squeezed to grab something, my hand hurt right in the uh, this joint here. And I. I what, like the joint between your, your index finger between and your... my thumb and index finger just okay. joint i don't know if that's a joint but whatever i, the, the I don't think it's a joint there. but neither of us are well, doctors or i'm even, not even i'm definitely not a doctor and i'm not even playing one on the podcast it's not a doctor but i couldn't figure it out and then i was walking through the kitchen and i'm going to pick up a prop because jeremy will tell me if i'm explaining this wrong but we've got this uh cordless vacuum we used to call these dust busters when okay. I was younger, but this is not a Dustbuster brand. Yeah, and I noticed Black, black, filter, black and Decker, I see. This is a Black and Decker brand. And I noticed that the filter inside here, this is probably filthy still, was gummed up. And it wasn't producing much vacuum. So I looked this up on Amazon. Pat, Pat, Pat do, you, found, produce, pro, do yeah. you produce a vacuum? Do I Cause, produce one? No, because if, you, if you're, if a vacuum, oh. if there's a vacuum, really you're producing... Pressure. You're not, you're not producing anything. You're producing. You're negatively. I'm producing. removing. I'm removing. All right. It's, I'm sorry. I'm doing a bad job. That's. <laughs> <laughs> All right. That's a ridiculous point. But but continue, Matt. Pat. Pat. Matt. I looked this up on Amazon. The part you know the part number was in my order, so I figured right. that's great. I I googled it. There was a YouTube how to replace the filter. They told me unscrew this. And it looked exactly, I mean, there's not a lot of room to fit your fingers in here. My dirty fingers now. Right. But I tried for like an hour off and on to get this out, grabbing this with my hands and try, and you can't get a good grip on it because you can't get your, so you're kind of doing this instead of this, you're doing, that made my hands hurt, but I didn't understand why, but I feel stupid because it's not the same model. There's a little button right here. You hit that, and oh, so you're trying to unscrew, it just, but there was just a just a button that it doesn't unscrew. That's not how it works. That's a totally different everything. The filter looks this. Everything looks identical, but yeah, not my vacuum. <laughs> not my vacuum. <laughs> sounds like that sounds like a political slogan or something. <laughs> not my. And now I'm too stupid to put it back together. There we go. So so basically, the engineers tried to try to fix this, make it simpler. They put a button on it so you don't have to unscrew it, and all of a sudden, it's yeah. cost you an hour of your time. And yeah, because they didn't put a new model number on it. It's the... <laughs> oh, they didn't put a new model number on it. That, that... Well, I don't know. There's no. It's not like it's obvious. On I can't. There's nothing written on the vacuum that tells me the. I'm just going. But I'm assuming because my Amazon orders had a complicated model number in parentheses next to it, and that's. Hmm what I was looking up for the how-to video. Okay. And boy, you watch the girl do it. I mean, she just, boop, right out. Just, but, oh, that was the other weird thing. She said you turn it, I'm going to get this wrong now. She said to turn it uh, righty, righty Lucy instead of righty tidy. Righty Lucy. So that really goes, so I'm thinking, wow, did I, when I tried to take this out the first time, did I... Did I over tighten this so it's never going to come out? I mean, I was just confused. I it was terrible. Uh, I did such I, a bad job. But Jeremy, but, I heard you had a problem with the vacuum recently. So yeah, Matt, yeah, Pat. Since um since I called you out on your vacuum cleaner problem so much, I actually so we were we were trying to clean out a car, and all of a sudden my uh, my vacuum wouldn't work. It was a, a, like a Dyson handheld vacuum, which I'd very much recommend, but it just kept going like trying to start up and, and stopping. Yeah. It was crazy. So um, so eventually, I took the thing apart, and I realized it had all these leaves and even even a stick stuck in its like uh, intake thing in, inside the whatever. Inside in the, the throat. The, I guess the throat. I, I don't even know. So I just was, you know, with some little pliers, just, just pulling these things out. I'm like, wow, this looks like a rat's nest or something. It was it literally like, like quite a few leaves. And even, I don't know how it got in there, but it was a literal stick inside of it. So I guess I need to stop using it as a uh, shop vac and more of a, you know, household type vacuum, which... Yeah. But but that's well, a testament to how much, uh, how powerful the vacuum is, that it could pull up sticks and... I'm, uh, 
a big fan of those actually because you it's it's battery powered so you don't have to plug it in room by room you just you know go from here to there it's ergonomics wise it's it's fantastic i i think if that's maybe that's not ergonomics but well being cordless is fantastic when i was a kid i used to mow the lawn with an electric uh lawnmower but you had to plug it in you had to carry an extension cord around the yard with you Ooh. I'd be yeah, my I'd father bought that as it. soon as I was old enough to mow the lawn because then he didn't have to do it. And since it was not gas powered, he didn't have to make sure he had gas on hand or anything. It was just, he, I just had, to, I had to deal with it. I yeah. never ran over the extension cord. He did. He did that several <laughs> times, but. I think I was pulling my friend on a kneeboard or something on a jet ski. And, you know, another, I guess it's another Florida man story, but I remember running over the, uh, the cord with the jet ski and it took it in the intake and that was I that's remember, gotta I, be bad oh no it wasn't good at all so i i remember <laughs> i had to <laughs> so i was i was doing like a rescue stroke we didn't have a paddle on it so i was always like kicking like like trying to propel it like you know like uh, pushing it and then doing like a rescue stroke all the way to shore and it was that wasn't much fun then then i remember my father made me take it apart and get the rope out <laughs> so that was that wasn't much fun either no yeah but goodness you know now i know now i know what you to know do, what not to do what not to yep, do. it's important so don't, don't yep. ever run over the rope um, no yeah don't do that thank goodness the rope doesn't have 120 volt ac going through it oh that's too. a good that's, that's a good point that's helpful so okay so when your dad ran over the uh, the cord did he get I mean what happened no he didn't say i didn't see it happen i just you know i see the repairs on the extension cord <laughs> okay i mean i know he's gotten me with the electric hedge trimmer before too that was a uh, yeah that was long before lithium-ion batteries but i'll tell yeah. you that uh that lawnmower lasted for 20 some years without any sort of repairs or maintenance well you know when we first got it was, i used to put it down into the cellar every time i'd use it but then when i moved out he would just leave it outside in the rain and the for you and he just put it away every winter down in the basement and then he stopped doing that but i flew home one time (laughs) and the lawnmower was gone and i when i went in the house i said to him i said dad that lawnmower finally quit working on you said no somebody took it somebody so So, somebody yeah it worked until it was stolen 20 some years after huh it was amazing just yeah, a but who, crummy who steals, craftsman electric lawnmower. Who steals a twenty-year-old lawnmower? That seems exactly. That doesn't seem like the most profitable profession. I mean, if I was, it can't be. Not not exactly Ocean's Eleven, here, you know, <laughs> or twelve or thirteen, whatever. But um, I think of that every time somebody tells me they have a, you know, they're trying to get their lawnmower, their gas lawnmower started. I think <laughs> of that lawnmower that just fired right up every time. Sitting out in the snow and the rain. Well, that's decades. nice. That's nice. Uh, nice plug for them, I guess. So. Yeah, no. I have no idea. That that's just an anecdote. It's only one. Don't okay. trust it. Thank you.